Good day, everybody. I'm back again to talk about general rules of multiplication in probability. So I'll share my screen with you. So <clears throat> the problem states 86% of US households at cable TV, cable TV. Three households are chosen at random. Find the probability that none of the three households had cable TV, okay? So out of three households, none of them had cable TV. So first, we know probability of cable TV, having a cable TV is 0.86, and probability of not having any cable TV is one minus 0.86 as 0.14. So the first part is probability, none of the three households had cable TV. Now these events are independent, whether the first one had, if the first one had no cable TV, that will not influence whether the second one had no cable TV and so forth. So probability, none of the three households had cable TV is equal to probability of first one, no cable TV, multiplied by probability of second one, no cable TV, multiplied by probability of third one, no cable TV. These probabilities are multiplied because these events, first one, no cable TV, second one, no cable TV, and third one, no cable TV are independent of each other. That is, each does not influence the other. So probability of none of the three households at cable TV is 0.14 multiplied by 0.14 multiplied by 0.1. And if you do that in your calculator, you'll get a probability of 0 0.0027, which is very small, okay? Part B, all three households had cable TV. So probability all three households had cable TV is probability of first one with cable TV multiplied by probability of second one with cable TV multiplied with probability of third one with cable TV. These probabilities are multiplied because the events, first one with cable TV, and then second one with cable TV, and the third one with cable TV, these three events are independent of each other. Therefore, by general rule of multiplication of probabilities, these events, probabilities of these events get multiplied. So probability all three households at cable TV is 0.86 multiplied by 0.86 multiplied by 0.86. Notice 0.86 is multiplied by itself three times. So 0.86, the exponent is three. If you do it in your calculator, you'll get 0.636. This is the probability that all three of them had cable TV. The last question is a little bit interesting. It says, what is the probability at least one of the three households had cable TV? At least one of the three households had cable TV means one and above at least means one is the lowest number. So the event at least one of three households had cable TV is complement or opposite of the event, none of the three households had cable TV, okay? So the, because by the complement rule, we know probability of complement of event A is one minus probability of event A. So hence probability of at least one of the three households had cable TV is one minus probability of none of the three households at cable TV, which we did already in part A, which is 0 0.0027. So one minus 0 0.0027 is 0 0.9973. This is the probability that out of three, at least one of them had cable TV. So this is uh, all these problems we applied the general rules of multiplication uh, on part C, we also applied the complement rule. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to write a comment and I'll get back to you. Please subscribe to my channel because I come back every week and solve new problem in statistics using TI-84. If you like what you are seeing, you can tell your friends about watching my channel, I'll appreciate it. And again, if you have any question, write a comment. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. 
Take care and have a nice day. See you.